Shalom, beloved. Welcome to Morning Dew, our personal daily devotional time with the blessed person of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome back to Morning Deal. Is this a blessing to you? Are you growing? Are you becoming a better believer? I do believe so. I do hope so. We are looking at the deadly poisons of the tongue. Um, right here on this channel, we've looked at the poison of lies. We have looked at the poison of flattery we've looked at the poison of profane language all here um, on this channel now today we want to look at the poison of tail bearing the poison of tail bearing now tail bearing is another of the deadly poisons of the tank the bible teaches us that it has the ability to separate best friends. Yes, tail bearing has the ability to separate best friends. I'll even go so far as to say it has the ability to separate pastors. I'll say it has the ability to separate church members. Now, Sometimes things do happen and you realize people who were once your friends are no longer your friends. And if you look deeply, you will discover the activities of a tail bearer that brought about your separation. So you will see people who once existed in your life who no longer exist in your life today basically because of this tail bearing leviticus 19 the verse 16 the bible says thou shall not go up and down as a tail bearer among thy people yes you you yes you the bible is telling you you will not be going up and down as a tail bearer among your people. You will not go up and down as a tail bearer in the church. You see, the tail bearer is the agent who brings about Satan's purpose for destroying God's people. <laughs> You get a point now. So, a tail bearer, dear child of God, can be likened to someone who goes from house to house to deliver his goods. All right. So, in 1 Timothy 5, the verse 13, Paul the apostle says to us, wandering about from house to house less also and busy bodies speaking things which they ought not uh-huh right in the scriptures so the bible dear child of god makes it clear that when a tail bearer is in your midst when a tail bearer is in the church there is always trouble there is always trouble. You see, a gossip within a group can easily destroy it. A gossip within the church can easily destroy it. Whether uh, it has a spiritual purpose or not, it will destroy it. Sometimes a tail bearer, dear child of God, will create divisions between two pastors in the church they exist they exist there are people who talk to you 
just so they can pick something you have said. And even as a pastor, I've experienced that. They will come, they will ask you questions, they will ask you something, and then they pick on what you have said to go and tell somebody you said this and you uttered this about them. Tailbearers, they exist in the church. You see, a tailbearer will create divisions be even between pastors and members. So often, when I find a tailbearer, I, I love to confront them in the open. Yes, because the wisdom behind that is you may not know how many people they have infected with their lies and their tail bearings. So you have to cure others even as you bring to the fore the fact that you're aware of what they are saying. Glory to God. As for tail bearers, bringing division between pastors and their congregation, it is very common. It is very common. A tail bearer can even separate husbands and wives. They will go and tell the man this and then they will go and tell the wife this. No wonder Paul in writing to the Romans he said to them, mark them which cause divisions and offenses and avoid them. This is the writings of Paul. He says, mark them. You see this person is divisive. You see this person causes division. He says, mark them. You see they bring about offenses. Mark them. And then he says, avoid them avoid them why should you avoid them it's because they are dangerous it's because they are destructive it's because they carry this deadly poison of the tongue they're loaded with venom they will poison everybody and they see the cooler <laughs> And you will wonder where your woes and your troubles and your difficulties are coming from. There are tail bearers. They are bearing tails. They, they are inquisitive. They, they have itchy ears. They have itchy mouth. They're speaking. They're saying this. And then they'll sit down there looking at you. Cooler. Dear child of God, this is a deadly poison that must be avoided. A deadly poison you cannot carry. And God is bringing that to your notice today that you must not carry the poison of tail bearing. Why? Because in today's morning dew, we're learning that tail bearing causes division. Tail bearing brings about division. It destroys friends. It destroys people that are united, people that want to achieve something for God. It destroys them. Tail bearing is a deadly poison. Father, deliver us from the spirit of tail bearing, from this spirit that Satan uses to bring separations and division. Lord, heal us, deliver us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Beloved, how blessed are you? Let me know you're blessed. And I, I, I want to see you sharing the links, not just on your statuses, send them like inbox to inbox whatsapp to whatsapp here yeah, in there yes telegram to telegram <laughs> messenger to messenger send it and let somebody watch and be blessed definitely you'll hear from me again tomorrow as we seek the face of the lord first thing in the morning the lord will, will keep you the Lord my God will bless you. The Lord will be your shield and your exceedingly great reward. You're blessed in Jesus' name. 
Shalom. Amen.